Morning world. A little bit under the weather today. I picked up some sort of chest congestion here. And if I sometime disappear from the internet, it's probably because I had got pneumonia or some other lung problem that us people with these diseases have, but enough of that. Been on our discussion boards on MySpace, no, not MySpace, Facebook, and I'm um, into one that has to do with my hometown of Audubon. Um, one of the discussion boards that I'm posting this to, and of course to the to my YouTube, is talking about small stores of your town, my town in particular, Audubon, New Jersey, back there in the suburbs of Philadelphia, the suburbs of Camden. Now I notice a lot of discussions about these uh, small stores are coming from a lot of younger people, and I mean younger, probably 50 people, 50 and younger. But when you look at the evolution of a town, in this case Audubon, New Jersey, it dates back to 1905 and it went through a lot of changes. Um, I was <clears throat> looking at my mother's um, um, 50th reunion from Audubon High School yesterday and it had a whole list of things in there that the class of 1944 enjoyed doing and places they liked to go. And most of the places don't exist anymore. One of the things that struck me was they liked to swim in the gully. Well, I have another story about the gully, about how Right near Jarvis's farm, it used to be a place to go ice skate, swimming, then ice skating, and of course then just a trek on, it's probably gone now. But back to the stores again. When I grew up in Audubon, <clears throat> um, early 50s to middle 60s, there was a set of stores that you shopped at, the smaller ones, including there on Merchant Street. And um, over time, all these stores changed. They go away. The owners died because they were sole proprietorships. But uh, the stores that, you know, for you Audubonites, uh, that I remember uh, quite well, and some of them are the same stores, but they're just different names. Up the street from Haviland, uh, um, a public school number three was the Quaker store, and that changed names over the years. One of them I saw not mentioned on there was Shirey's Liquor Store. I think it was right up on that street that bordered Audubon from Haddonfield. And they had the greatest, greatest walk-in cooler for sodas that we used to hang out in there just to go on the cooler on a hot day. Up there on the um, um, White Horse Pike, uh, corner of Pine Street, there used to be a Howard Johnson's, and that was new to us in the early 60s. And that, of course, it soon went out of business, and I think is now a bank or something. Cross the street from that, that little strip there next to Holy Trinity Lutheran Church. In our day, when we started out, there was a malt shop uh, pharmacy on one side, anchored by another, another malt shop, uh, where we bought our candy and baseball cards on the other side. More about some of these places later. Right in the middle was a little grocery store owned by this little couple. Uh, we would pick up local stuff there with my grandmother and always remember the big, the big barrel with the, with the um, <clears throat> what do you call it, with the, uh, the cucumbers, the pickles in the pickle barrel. Very quaint store and the lady there always watched us like a hawk. Upstairs was um, was the, um, um, a photography studio where I got some of my first pictures taken as a baby and uh, and, and family pictures with my mother and my sister. Um, can't remember right off the top of my head the other stores in between, but there was three or four or five of them and some more businesses upstairs. Um, I think again they're on Pine Street going back to the high school. Uh, a little, I remember walking up Pine Street to go to school from Lakato on the other side of the White Horse Pike. There was a little 
little luncheonette. It was our hangout after school. I don't even remember the name of it. I know some of you will. Um, um, other places uh, of note, um, you know, Weber's Diner probably still is a great hangout. Always was. Used to hang out there sometimes at 2 o'clock in the morning when we snuck out of the house. Um, again, all over town there's all, all sorts of things. But here's a, here, here's a little little quickie for you people in Audubon. Now, you, a lot of you, of course, remember the Century Theater because it stayed there so long. Oh, oh, before I get to that, one of you made a comment about do you remember the Century Theater and Bulk's uh, Pharmacy? Bulk's Pharmacy used to be over on Atlantic Avenue in that strip there where Kushner's anchored one end and whatever's there on the other end now, it started out in the early 50s as a shoe store. And in between there, there was a little, a little music shop where back in the days of WIBG, we would go to go pick up our Top 99 and some sheet music and then later on pick up some, some 45s. But back to the movie theater again, the Century Theater, a lot of you remember that. What other movie theater in the early 50s was in Audubon? What other movie theater was in Audubon in the early 50s? Okay. And where was it located? So there's your trivia for the day for Audubonites. Uh, while I still got a little time, the other big movie theater we used to go to in the early 50s was the Ritz Theater up in Oakland. It was a mainstream theater. Across the street from that, sometime in the middle of the late 50s, a Dairy Queen opened up. You can always walk up there to the Dairy Queen. But anyhow, Ritz Theater was a mainstream movie theater. It changed over to foreign, a foreign style, maybe in the late 50s, or early 60s. And I don't, of course, I don't know what it is now, and it probably doesn't exist anymore. So anyhow, those are some of my comments today about small stores in Audubon and in whatever hometown you've lived in. They've all gone through an evolution over the, over the years, some gone, some added, some changed. Uh, Merchant Street, uh, let's think of the stores there. There were all sole proprietorships. We had a little watchmaker there. There was a there was a couple of barber shops and then changed over to luncheonettes or they were they luncheonettes changed over to the barber shops, the Sally store, the five and dime, uh, which moved twice uh, down there on, on the one corner was the <clears throat> was the lo the local meat market and small grocery store and on and on and on. This is Gus from down sunny downtown Oregon, Washington saying bye now.